Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you. Today we're talking about light. And not just any in particular light, but all types of lights. And the types of lights that may be right for you. Unfortunately, there is no one singular light that's gonna work the best for everyone. Every situation is different. That means we need to adapt and try to uh, find the right tool for the job, and a light is a tool for sure. If you watched my last top five Ryobi videos, you'll see that my number one was a light. And after this discussion, I'm hoping that it may illuminate some people. So for lighting, you're really gonna have a few different categories, and I try to make them into three. That is a lower intensity, more ambient light, a medium intensity, which is probably the most flexible types of lights, and then the higher intensity, which is more spotlights and, and larger areas. And what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna go through each individual light that I use and tell you a little bit about them, give you a little bit of specifications and examples of what I use them for. And I'm hoping at the end of this video, it gives you a good idea of what you should expect performance-wise and then application-wise. There's a lot of times when you look at advertisements, they'll say 3,000 lumens, 2,500 lumens, a million lumens. And with that type of advertising, I mean, the higher the lumens, it doesn't mean it's the right light for you. It just means it puts out a lot of light, but it's probably not gonna serve you in the best way if you don't know what it does. So, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna start with this uh, small area light. Uh, this is a wonderful light from Ryobi. Uh, it's the P781, and here's some specifications here. And with this light, you're going to notice uh, with it has 330 lumens. It's a push button, and the cool thing about the light is, it it's for a smaller workspace, but it lasts for two days on a single charge uh, or on a single battery, and that's key, especially in a power outage situation or if you're camping. You want to have that lower lumen that lasts longer, and it's a smaller area light. And it's great because it does have a great uh, kind of crystallized diffuser that's on it. So it's not, when you look at it, it's not gonna blind you. It's just gonna give off a nice even light to the work surface. And you can also hang it too if you would like to at the, you know, a tent or something like that. So this is in the low category and this is probably as low as I would go in terms of Ryobi lighting. Uh, so the second I would consider this is a medium light and this is the workbench light and, and they could they could call it the yoga light too because it, it, it maneuvers and it has two different strips of lights here and when you turn them on both are on at this point you press the button again you can have the lower then you can only have the top and this is great because you can articulate this and get great angles um, if you want to, let's say, illuminate a room, you can do this, you can hang it. If you want to hang it sideways, uh, and then if you're just working on a table and you want to get more intense light in a single area, this is what I use it for a lot of times. So the versatility of a light like this is absolutely incredible. And this light is the P727. It puts out right around 950 lumens. I think it has a 10 hour runtime on a four amp hour battery, so that would be the P108 battery. Um, but, you know, with that being said, this was number one on my tools list. And for all the reasons that I just told you, that's why it's versatile. It's not heavy. You can fit it in your bag if you really need to. You can slide it up under a car. It's, it has a, uh, this plastic shielding is a diffuser and it puts out a really nice soft light so you can work right up against something and it's not going to blind you. So I think for anyone, this is a great mid-range 
uh, light. It gives out plenty of lumens. It's going to illuminate not a huge area, but a nice concentrated area where you're working. So it's going to be sitting beside you most of the time. And that's where you really need this type of light. So this spotlight is the P7171. And, you know, the, the great thing about this light is if you're outside and you need to look into the woods at nighttime, this is going to throw a 700 yard beam uh, and it's super intense and it's a see my hand and this is you know search and rescue you're looking for things if you're looking down a tunnel you're looking down a pipe a well something like that this is the type of tool that you really need a great feature about this uh, light is that it is not only ran off of uh, 18 volt batteries, but it can also run off 12 volts DC. It comes with a car charger that you can plug into your car so you can, you know, spotlight and, and jump out of your car if you have an emergency. So you can keep that in your vehicle at all times and you know that it's going to work as long as your car can start and run. But this, this is very specific in the application of where you're going to use this light. So this may be the least. Uh, or, or the light that you use the least, but it may come in handy when you actually need it the most. This light also has 2,500 lumens, and the runtime on a 4 amp hour battery, I believe, is right around 5 hours for something like this. This is the P782 tripod hybrid light. The great thing about these lights are that if you're working, uh, installing a boiler, you know, you're in an attic, you're in a basement, you're really doing a, a lot of mechanical or electrical work, you know, even, or if you're just painting um, your house, this tripod, uh, it sets up by itself, so you don't need to hang it from anywhere, you don't need to find a stand or put it on a table. This stands five feet tall. It puts out 2,700 lumens, but it's not a concentrated, it's not a very intense, it's a very broad spectrum, so you're going to have a lot of great ambient light on something like this. So that's going to give you really good perspective, a large perspective, so you can um, do the work that you need in those spaces. And for something like this, um, I use it uh, the majority of the time. The reason why is because this is the light that I use in every video. I have a substitute today, but this is the light that is always with me at all times. It sits at the same height as the tripod that that camera is sitting on right now, and it just gives a great ambient light. As you can tell, it's not diffused, it is direct, but the type of LEDs that they're using uh, really just spreads the light out, and there's a bunch of LEDs, so it's, you know, it's not concentrated. And the last good thing about this light is it is a hybrid, so it runs off 18 volts direct current, or you can plug it into an extension cord and it runs off of 120 volts alternating current, so AC. So you really do have, and it's, you know, it's meant to work around larger job sites. Uh, so even if you're worried about the battery running out, if you're gonna have it running all day or multiple days, you have a generator, you have house power, you do have the option to hook this up and you can run it on both. And that's a super, super important feature. Okay. Last but most certainly not least, this is the P721 Area Work Light. I want you to pay attention to one thing, and I'm hoping I can get this in there, or it, it can be defined. There is a single LED in here, and that is a 20 watt LED. This is a very intense light. And uh, let me just show you here so you can see that. This is the brightest light out of all of them in terms of just output. And this is at 2400 lumens. But it has uh, reflectors around it, so it's really diffusing the light to make it more of an area light. Something that you would really uh, benefit from on using this light is you can use it outside, uh, you can use it inside, it's meant for larger areas, it is a fantastic light. Uh, you can hang it on 2x4s if you're you know building a house and you're framing, you can hang it on a wall, and it fits on a tripod. So if you have a, a different tripod, mobile tripod, a construction tripod, this will sit right on top of it. 
It also is a hybrid light, so it runs off of 18 volts direct current and 120 volts AC. This light is, when I'm doing a larger job, I was actually uh, digging a, uh, just a, a trench for a gas line not too long ago. And I had this light outside using this light and it was just fine, uh, but it wasn't reaching a further distance that I needed it to. So I, I kept having to move this light. I was able to use this light and it produced a little bit more of a focused but still uh, a more narrowed area instead of ambient, uh, but a narrowed light which projected the full uh, length of the trench that I was uh, digging, and it was fantastic. Okay, so general rule of thumb for lights. When you're using a light, it's a steady drain on a battery. Now, if you're on a high setting, a mid setting, a low setting, it is still going to drain that battery at a pretty consistent rate which means get the biggest battery that you can possibly get on these lights. It's not going to jump up and down, so you wanna maximize your runtime as much as possible, unlike an impact wrench or impact drill or drill. Uh, you don't need the intelligence, really, of that tool to complete work. You just need a steady, uh, high amperage load so that this can uh, just drain that battery at that uh, steady calculated rate. We've talked about uh, a pretty nice spread of lighting from low intensity, just small area lights to medium lights to high intensity lights, but there is one more category that I just have to talk about and it's gonna be more of an honorable mention and that is the headlamp. The headlamp that I use the most is the Milwaukee, and this is 2104. The only time I really use these lights is when I'm in a super confined space, whether it's a closet and I'm just shoved up in there, I'm in between rafters or something else. Uh, that's when this comes in handy. That way I can really direct where the light's at, where my head's going, and I don't have a lot of room. But that's really the only time I use headlamps, uh, just because I like to see more of an ambient condition, and that's where these lights come in handy. So I hope that this conversation has provided illumination for someone. Ding. I'm such an idiot. Uh, if it has, please jump down below the video hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. And we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.